Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. We're about to continue harvesting corn down at Travis's place. Hopefully we can finish by tomorrow. But um, the combine tire on the outside, right side, is uh, losing air. So Tandem should be uh, heading down to British to be working on that right now. So once they get that fixed, hopefully we can keep on harvesting. Uh, Travis and I are at the farm right now. We're switching the bins because this load that we have on the 76 right now apparently is 13%. So we figure the corn coming out of my place is gonna be some of the wetter stuff. So we're gonna put that back in the soup drying bin. The soup up only has the agri dry system in it where if it's up to 17%, we can turn on the air and it should be able to lower the moisture at least 2%. So um, we're gonna move the auger over to the soup up and start filling that one up. So. We should be able to have enough storage for everything. I don't know, we might have a few loads left over at least. Uh, I haven't done the math yet, but Travis is pulling the 4020 around to fill it up. So this wire here is our temp sensors that we're gonna be lowering down into the bin. You're supposed to put a little bit of fishing line and uh, black tape on it to keep it secured to the ground. So might run in and hook that to the floor to keep it from moving around too much. Here we go. There's temperature sensors on that line all the way down to the floor. I believe there's six of them. And using those temp sensors, you can get a gauge on the status of the corn in the bin, if it's heating especially. But uh, you can use, the system uses those temp sensors uh, to take in factors like the outside air temperature and the temp inside the bin. So the fan will turn on automatically when it's good drying conditions. And we've used it for the past several years and it works really good. Um, we have an issue with something with the circuit board or something on this bin um, where it keeps faulting out. So we just have to restart it. But other than that, um, as long as we continuously check it to make sure that it hasn't faulted out, and um, it seems to dry the corn really fast. It needs to go a little bit away from us, but it's pretty close. Tandem came and fixed the tire. The rim was obviously someone hit a rock, but it looks like someone had hit it with a hammer, and I know that none of us had done it. So, how Dad actually found that was that the chain rolls were catching material up in the head. Dad got out to look at it, and he heard the air leaking out of the tire before it went flat. Now that the dew's off, I imagine that the material is going to go through a lot better. An early morning turned into not quite so early, but at least the tire situation's resolved and Travis is heading back now with the 76. Let's head back with the 46. When I was in the combine, the yield was averaging 209 across that first pass, which if I can average above 200 with any of my stuff, I'll be happy. All right, buddy, come on. I think the rains definitely attributed to the yields with the corn, especially down on this farm, because the thing with corn is that you can have too little rain and you can have too much rain. And every time there was a slight sign of uh, drought stress in the corn, we had timely rains um, every time this summer. You know, it wasn't too wet and we didn't have any real drenchers. 
it, we just had a very nice convenient rains that were very periodic and it kept the corn happy. As it would turn out, the 7600 has an issue with what we think is the transmission that is linked to the parking brake because as we were unloading into the wagon like we always do, Travis was standing up between the wagon and the 7600 when it started to roll away on us. Fortunately, he jumped off the ladder and got off in time where he was able to keep it from rolling into anything and causing any damage. However, I was a little preoccupied with him almost getting run over that I didn't shut the PTO off quite in time. And on top of that, the PTO keeps spinning for a short duration after you shut it off, which resulted in the pile of corn that you see in front of me. So I'm cleaning up as much as I can and I'm skimming off as much corn as I can without picking up any rocks to try to salvage it. We don't want to leave any big piles of corn out in the field because when we let the cows out, they will find those piles and will possibly flock right to them and they like to pig out and it can cause bloating which can kill them. So in the meantime we're going to be using the 8235R. It's not quite optimal of a setup or situation but it's all we have to work with. We're not set up to use the semi and the grain trailer quite yet to haul back to the main farm but in the future it is something that we're looking into. the best I could. I just tried skimming it off the top because there's a lot of large rocks right where the pile was. So I tried dumping it into the combine head because the bobcat can't, couldn't reach to the top of the wagon. So that way it would get back, worked back through the combine and hopefully scalp that back in. But uh, the cows are going to have to finish off whatever's left behind. It's working the pedals for me. All right, buddy. All right. Yeah.
We're about to head over to the farm. Uh, we're going to park the grain cart and then help Travis switch the auger over to the other bin so that we can try to get them as level, as even as possible. So we're reaching the end of Dad's corn, which is out of my place. So once we're done here, Dad will be done with his crops and we're just going to focus on what Travis and I have. to two in the morning and uh, dad just finished up the last of his corn so dad's crops are all out but uh, tomorrow we're going down and doing some good bottom ground of Travis's that um, we want to prioritize because they are calling for up to three inches of rain over the next couple days here so um, we want to prioritize that and get it done first so that can go right on the truck but um, uh, we'll be going off grid for that one. I'll be sure to update you guys on how the weather pans out and uh, once we start harvesting and sending more corn down to the river. So he's going to dump into the grain cart. Waiting on Travis now. We're going to take all this stuff over to the farm and uh, that way we can get it up and ready to go for morning because we want to start fairly early since tomorrow is probably going to be the only chance that we get to harvest some of the stuff that we want to get out before we get any rain because we're worried about it drying enough in time. Since we have had a warmer fall, uh, if we get a lot of rain uh, down in the bottom, it might stick around until it freezes before we can actually get any of that out. So we're going to head over to the farm and call it a night. So with that, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. All our farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time. Oh, there's Travis.